Welcome back, Vintage RC fans. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I posted a video, but uh, let's do one today. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thanks for the support on the channel. It's awesome. It makes me keep wanting to make these videos, so uh, let's do one today. I figured it's January in Michigan, but it's been kind of mild. It snowed once like a week ago, so when it snows, it's cool because it mats down the grass in my yard um, and you can kind of get out there and run cars, some vintage cars that have spike tires and they're not going to wear out because the grass is so soft, but it's still smooth from having uh, uh, being matted down by the snow. And that's what we got going on right now. So I've been wanting to run, do a video of like running a vintage car. So I thought today we'd take on this. Follow me. We're going to run my first car, the Tamiya Hilux Monster Racer. Uh, as it sits right now, it just has a servo in it, a good old Futaba S148. Uh, but we're going to uh, throw, uh, throw a real speed control in it. I don't want to use the stepped mechanical controller. I'm not, not willing to go that old school, but... We're going to put uh, electronic speed control in it, receiver. We'll use an old radio. I'd like to use my original radio I had with that truck, which is a Magnum. Well, that's a Magnum Junior. I just had a Magnum Sport. We'll see. But I'll use a vintage radio, vintage receiver. That's servos vintage. And I'll use a uh, real or current electric speed control, Novak or something. So maybe an old one. Yes. We'll do like a T4 or a M5 or something. That'll be cool. So let's do it. Let's build it, and we'll go outside and run it. Uh, I just can't wait to hear it and see it run. I haven't, I haven't run this car in, boy, 20, 30 years probably. So really cool. I, I just remember the like the gear noise it used to make. It had this kind of a loud gearbox, but just just classic. So let's get to it. Let's build it and run it. All right, uh, here are the electrics we're going to use for Project Hilux. Uh, first off, we have a period correct Novak 410M5. I wanted the speed control for my truck back in the day. I ended up getting uh, one of those Duratrax as a knockoff of this, the DTX4, I think it was. Um, it was still electric speed control, but man, like whenever the battery got low enough, it would cut out uh, power to the receiver and it would just, you know, keep going at the last input it had. So it usually ended up doing like huge circles and I'd have to chase it around to, to shut it off. But the Novak, uh, this um, wiring, as you can see, has been over the years, someone has made some questionable repairs, shortened up the battery lead quite a bit. I'm going to take this apart and solder in all new wires in this and give it a little update, a little, little refurb treatment. So that's going to happen. Uh, receiver to go with my Magnum Sport, the Futaba AM75. That'll be cool. Nice long antennas. Remember having to deal with these? Oh man. Uh, and then the battery. We're going to cheat a little bit. Uh, this is a stick pack but it's a LiPo, it's a you know, Gen Zace 4000 LiPo. Uh, the cool thing is that that will fit in our truck into the little battery slot. It's, uh, I've already tried it, it's a snug fit, but it'll fit in there. So that will be our, our battery for this project. Uh, motor wise, I think I'll try and get whatever this is running again. Obviously the motor leads come off, but I think that's one of those HPI Uno motors. Um, we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll, I've got plenty of other. There's some other vintage motors I could choose from. So we could do that. Uh, so let's get going here. Um, yeah, I'll take you along on the ride here. Okay, so I took the uh, case off the speed controller, um, pulled out all of this old wiring. Uh, with a soldering iron, then used a solder sucker to evacuate all the solder from the holes. And then we'll put it back in. 
it actually does a pretty good job peeled out all that solder uh, so we'll run new wires through there and uh, show you how it goes here okay so I've done the two red wires already I'll show you the process here um, so I've already cut my wires to length I know that the motor wire I wanted a little longer and this is the uh, uh, battery wire on most speed controls uh, the reds are the same tab it's the same pad so they can touch they can the solder can melt all around that's actually why they went to three wire speed controls because it was it's the same wire anyway why run two wires out of the speed control so um, but this was a predecessor to that so I take and cut just a tiny bit of the shrink off of the wire It'll cut through the wire. Then I twist it up real tight. Then I tin it. All right. Okay. And this middle one was the blue. So that's the motor wire, that does matter. Outside here is the black, and that's battery in. This is the longer lead to the motor, so I'm gonna feed it up through the hole. Sometimes it'll just press up against it, and then you heat the pad, and it will melt and come through. There it is. Pretty sweet. I'll repeat that process one more time with the final motor. Sorry, the battery wire. Just cut a little bit of the shrink, like an eighth inch, maybe. Maybe less. You don't want a bunch of extra sticking through the back. And the case won't even close. Twist it up tight, tin it. Open up through. And turn that pad. And there she is. Nice and tight. Oh, my clamp failed, but it's good. So, here we have it. All new motor wires and battery wires soldered in. So that'll be a nice upgrade for our, our refurbishment for our Novak. M5. Okay, so I have this all wired up. The M5 is back together, looking nice. I have found a receiver. Well, that's the receiver we had earlier, but I found crystals, which was <laughs> hard to find a matching crystal set. You remember you had to match the crystals to the radio, and you have to have a receiver. I found an 89, and inside there is an 89 crystal for the TX, the transmitter. So, this is my original Magnum Sport. Well, it's not my actual one, but same, same. Same with the truck. It's not my actual one from the 80s, late 80s, but same, same. So, got that set. Uh, we got a plug-in. The I'm doing this real messy, like, just to make sure it all works here, and then I'll get it straightened out. That's the on switch. Uh, the speed controller goes into channel... Two good old Futaba style connectors. Receiver, sorry, the servo goes into one. Okay, good, good, matching wires. Battery, as I mentioned, this uh, Gen Zace LiPo. We're cheating a little bit with the LiPo, but this will stuff into here. And the moment of truth, I soldered up. Our motor, whatever motor that is, that Uno motor, the HPI. I don't even know what turn it is, but again, I didn't put that in there. That's how this truck came when I got it. And we will plug in our connectors, make sure our wire colors match from our soldering. And yes, they do. Plug it together, put Dean's connectors on it. Okay, no smoke yet. That's good. <laughs> it's off. Okay, I got a... I gotta support it because, ah, the old days. Turn the radio on first. Make sure we got, yeah, we got a good battery in the radio. 
turn the radio on first, stand it up, and now turn the car on because it could go crazy. Servo twitch, that's good. Ho ho ho, we have steering, nice. Throttle. Oh, oh yes! Oh yeah! Sweet! That's good. I like it. I like it. All right. Cool. All right. So I got to clean all this up. Um, I just got to lay this out in the right way so it's tidy and doesn't doesn't get caught in the wiring. All right. Abracadabra. All right. <laughs> all cleaned up. Ready to go. All tidied up. Charged up. Let's get the body on it and head outside. Okay guys, here we are outside with the 1989 Monster Hilux by Tamiya. I'm so excited. This was my first truck and I can't believe I'm about to run it again. Let's do it. Ethan set up a cool track in the side yard here. Uh, let's get some laps. All right, let's do it. Oh. Do the S-turns and around the corner. Oh, hit the back jump. Oh, round around. Get the main jump. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Gonna get this jump a little better this time. All right. He really hauls. Track down. Cut this one a little closer this time. Oh, so good. Whoa. Oh, this red corner. Get that the tightest corner on the track. All right. Hit it. Hit it. Over. Bring it out. Oh, oh, oh. oh overshooting it. It's so cool. I'm running my old high luck. It's so great. so cool she's a mess uh, maybe one of the next projects is gonna be cleaning it all up but like I said with this kind of grass these days uh it's all matted down and it really won't wear the tires at all so you can get out and run your old toys and not worry about the consequences so this was a blast thanks for coming on the ride thanks for all the love for the channel let's do more of this kind of stuff this has been awesome see you soon